Hey, this is Chad Gessen from First Tunes. Jake shot me over an email telling me that Scott commented on the Unbuilted podcast episode that I was on with Jake and Steve uh, and asked some questions about the lead copper pan failure or partial failure that I was talking about on that podcast. So here's a quick video I put together from some shots that were on my iPhone that explains uh, what was going on and also how we planned to fix it. We did actually go back and fix it on this condition and all the other ones. There was nine other doors like this at this house. So, Scott, thanks for the question and enjoy the video. We install a lot of Marvin windows and doors and one of the things that's always really creepy when you're testing these products is that the doors on the stationary panels, what one might call leak, but this is not a leak. This over here that you can see, this is water coming in, but it doesn't count as a leak unless it gets out of that sill, that black area, and beyond our back dam and onto our like wood floor of our house. So this is all normal. And you can see that in there. This is considered normal. And this is why we have that one minute drain out period between our five minute cycles. So we're watching the air pressure real closely so we don't over pressurize this one. Um, and like I said, this is a normal installation. All right, so over here we have a failure and we're gonna have to pull this one out. Um, and then we're gonna go test all of them now because see here, this is not the window product over here. Um, our installer made an adjustment to the heights of these rough openings after they'd done the work. And they had supposedly rewaterproofed this, but what's going on over here is that there's water getting drawn underneath this lead copper pan that's in there, um, you know, which is why we have the chamber testing from the floor uh, so that we are actually putting air pressure there too. So that's the corner of the door. All right, so it turned out it was an easy fix. As it happens, these guys forgot, and that happens, to seal this lead copper pan back to the house, and we missed that. We've been building this house only for four and a half months and it's ready for sheetrock, so that kind of stuff happens, and that's why we test. So what we're gonna do over here is, we're gonna cut the pan back to here, which we can do without taking this ledger out, and then we're gonna put our Prosoco R-Guard from here to here, give ourselves a great waterproof seal, and that's gonna stop that water that came in, which actually, if you could imagine, got sucked up under this metal, got past our waterproofing that's on the floor that adheres this metal to the floor, and nonetheless, it made it beyond that, and it, it just leaked out a little bit, like the contents of maybe, you know, four ounces, five ounces of water, but that's not acceptable to us, so we're gonna fix it.